In this context, we go now live to our special envoy in Caracas, Yunus Soner, as the electoral silence is already in place in Venezuela. Hello, Yunus. Tell us where you are and what is the latest. Hello, good afternoon from Petare in the city of Caracas, the capital of Venezuela. The process towards the presidential elections on July 28 is entering its final stage. The prohibition of campaigning has already started, so the rallies are all finished. The uh, candidates have all held their speeches. From today on, no campaigning is permitted anymore. No gatherings, public gatherings are allowed. The sale of alcoholic drinks is also prohibited. We are now in, the, in Arrocha, in the, one of the electoral centers here in Petare. We have eight uh, ballots established here in this center. This is one of the 15,000 electoral centers all over the country. Today, the, uh, the, uh, the process of establishing the tables has been completed and uh, we had here uh, testi testimonies and uh, witnesses of political parties. Now we have one here, please join me, uh, from the unity of the of democratic, from the table of democratic unity uh, uh, representative who has witnessed today how the ballots were established. ¿Cómo fue el proceso hoy que observó usted? Bueno, hasta ahora podemos notar un proceso que se llevó a cabo de la manera más normal posible. No hubo, este, no hubo ninguna novedad al respecto. En las, en las mesas de votación pues, fueron cubiertas en su gran mayoría. Sin embargo, bueno, como todo proceso, eh, siempre existen mesas en las cuales no llegan los miembros por completo y tenemos que sortear entre una y otras mesas pues para poder cubrir el proceso de lo que vendría siendo en este caso la instalación de las mesas electorales. Sin embargo, no pudiéramos eh, concluir que en términos generales el proceso ha estado bastante fluido hasta el momento. So, the representative for the op for one oppositional movement, the uh, table of democratic unity says all has been managed here according to the rules, according to the normal procedure. There have been here witnessing how the ballots, how the ballot boxes were established. He says there were some problems on their side with organizing the met witnesses and the representatives at each ballot, but they are working on that. But he again reiterates that the uh, establishment of the electoral center and the establishment of the mechanism of ballot boxes, their connection and so forth has been according to rule and has been a very uh, controlled and managed, well managed process. We have here another representative. Usted de qué partido es? Jesús Antonio Rodríguez. Yo soy eh, del Partido Socialista Unido de Venezuela, pero además miembro de eh, los movimientos sociales del municipio de Sucre. Ok, we have here José Antonio Rodríguez. Rodríguez, who is a representative for the United Socialist Party of Venezuela, that is the party that uh, proposes the candidacy of Nicolás Maduro, and he is also a member of social movements, he says. ¿Cómo observó el proceso de establecimiento de mesas aquí? ¿Cómo observa el funcionamiento? Bueno, cas casualmente, el día de hoy, hay una armonía impresionante entre todos los que de alguna manera concurrimos para la conformación de las mesas electorales, como debe ser en la democracia que nos estamos dando desde hace muchos años, gracias a nuestra constitución de la República Bolivariana de Venezuela. So, espera, espera, déjame traducir. So, he says that, he has more to say, obviously, I will help to translate this. He says, today, among all the representatives, there was a big harmony. Everyone is working together uh, for the democracy that is working here in Venezuela since several years, thanks to the Bolivarian Revolution, he says. So, he confirms that it is a day of harmony and cooperation among the different uh, t uh, witnesses of political parties. Bueno, continuando, este, nosotros aspiramos luego de las constituciones de las mesas electorales que la estamos haciendo en armonía, en paz, 
en el marco de la Constitución de la República y de las leyes venezolanas, el próximo domingo concurrir a las mesas electorales. El llamado es, no importa por quién tú vas a votar, tienes todo el derecho a votar, a sufragar por el candidato de tu predilección, pero que lo hagamos en paz, en armonía, y una vez culminado el proceso electoral, pues respetemos los, eh, los resultados electorales que solamente lo puede emitir el Consejo Nacional Electoral como única autoridad. So he calls the citizens to follow the example of the political representatives here at the electoral center who have displayed a great harmony and cooperation and he calls the citizens to go voting, to go voting, to cast their votes, to choose whoever they want to choose, which candidate ever they want to uh, be uh, the president of the country and emphasizes that this process should be done peacefully and in harmony. He emphasizes that citizens and, of course, every political movement here in the country should, once the election process is concluded, respect, of course, the results that are going to be announced by the National Election Council. So both representatives of the political parties, one from the government, one from the opposition, they confirm first everything is going according to procedure and law here. It's going in normal ways, it's going in harmony, both emphasized there is harmony among different political parties represented here and things are developing quite well. Generally in the country, this is what we can confirm from the news that we get from different parts of the country, Venezuela is preparing in peace and tranquility towards the elections on July 28. The campaign has finished, now the last preparations are being taken. The armed forces are also present here at this election center in Arocha, as they are in others over uh, all the country. We know that uh, the th more than 300,000 soldiers has been deployed to safeguard the security election centers. This is a normal process that takes place every time there is an election. It is called the Republican plan. So here in Petare, in Arocha, we see harmony even between candidates that are of competing opposing sides at this election center. They are working together to ensure a peaceful and uh, working election process. Thank you, Junus. It's great for hearing from you and also from the people as they peacefully await for the presidentials. We'll be back to you throughout the day. That was Yunus Sonner from Caracas.